2017. Um, they're going to be doing a, a one in F1 car. going to be driving this race out in those ways. Um, they're going to be driving this with, uh, in Austria out in Baku. Uh, Well, we're just going to do a 25% race at uh, at Austria Right, so Welcome to the Okay, we have Austria, the round of nine in Spielberg. Looks like we're ready to go with this five red lights. It's lights out and away we go. Hamilton gets a good start off the line and so does Bottas. Hamilton tucks into first place. Going into the first corner, Hamilton goes a bit wide. Can that allow Bottas to get a little bit of an opportunity? Hamilton goes onto the grass. Ricardo takes full opportunity of this situation. Hamilton goes off it, takes Vettel out too. Hamilton goes all the way back to P18 with Vettel and Peterson. 19. This is gonna ha may bring out a safety car. 
It's an illegal overtake. An illegal overtake from Berlin. What can he do? He actually overtakes Grosjean. This is going to muck up the strategy a whole lot more than what we thought it would. I mean, Hamilton just ran wide on the first corner. You can only expect what's going to happen in the next few. Oh, I mean, this is very poor from Hamilton. Finding it hard to navigate the car through the corners as Bottas. Oh, we might get a bit of double stacking from Mercedes now. Hamilton comes into the pits now. Bottas, they're going to have the double stack. That's going to lose out on Bottas's race so much because they're literally right behind each other. Yes, and Bottas does have to double stack a bit. Now, I think Vettel might come out in front of Bottas now, which is not going to benefit his race whatsoever. Bottas, you can see him going into the pits now. He's waiting, he's just sitting there, waiting there. Can he get his chance back in this race? We do not know. As Bottas comes into the pits, he has to wait even longer for a second pit stop. This time it is. And as Vettel comes out now, we are going to have a serious catch-up mode from Lewis, Vettel and hopefully Bottas. As Lewis comes around the first corner, but exiting from the pit lane, he joins back onto the track and the super softs, which aren't quite up to temperature yet. And as the whole field are coming around turn for five and six, we do not know what Mercedes can do to finish and survive on this race. Can they do it? We do not know. I think Mercedes is going to have to pit with eight laps to go just to make this a successful round at the Red Bull ring. So I don't think those super softs can stay in those conditions for a full, for a full ten laps. Maybe they might, maybe they can't, but we do not know for sure yet. As Hamilton, he is flying through these corners. He is flying! And as we come on to the lap 3, DRS is now enabled. What a start to this Grand Prix. And as Ricardo comes round turn 5, turn 6 I mean, now into turn 7. Seems as Hamilton, oh and Hamilton's out of spin! Hamilton's had a spin, and that's going to make him lose out to Vettel. Now he's going to have to play the catch-up on Vettel. Vettel is now ahead of Hamilton. Could Hamilton have just thrown his whole Grand Prix chances away? Now he has to get past Vettel, which might not be as easy as we all think it might be. Yes, but he has got a slight advantage. He's got the warmer tyres from that spin he had. So maybe he can catch up. Maybe he can overtake Vettel. And maybe he can have a chance at this race still. But we do not know for sure yet. All we know is that Hamilton may not be able to catch Vettel. Or maybe he can. We shall find out in the next few laps.
Oh, and he's losing mega places now. Hamilton has had a dreadful race so far. Now what can he do with it? I don't know if Hamilton can catch Vettel. Maybe Vettel's a bit too far away from him. Maybe he can catch him. This is going to be a hell of a race. With 13 laps to go, we do not know what's going to unfold here. In the mirror, in the Red Bull ring. In Austria for this Grand Prix. All we can and do know is that Hamilton is on the chase and when Hamilton's on the chase he can outlive his tyres, he can outlive his opponents like a ninja in a game of Fortnite Battle Royale and as Hamilton's at the fastest lap of the race what can he do with this? can he indeed uh, make his lap perfect? he did a bit of better turn one than he did last lap, so maybe he could be on the advantage right now. But no, he's a tenth down. He's a tenth down in the first sector. No, no. Oh no, maybe he can, maybe he can't. This is just going to be a very close few laps. This is like Austria in 2016, just one year ago. And Max Verstappen is out of the race. Max Verstappen is out of this race. Stafford is a major failure. He's pulled over to the side of the track. It is at home going free. Red Bull, the Red Bull car has pulled over at the Red Bull ring. This is very bad. This is very bad for Red Bull. There he is on the side of the track. The Stafford, no. The fan favourite for everybody to, who wanted them to win. Mercedes have won every single year this season. Can it be on Danny Rex's shoulders? Well, he's in first place at the moment, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold my hands up high. And as Lewis Hamilton is flying through that middle sector, three tenths off on his best time, coming through the last two corners. What can he do with this? What can he do with this? It's... He lost a bit of time, but that's still a fastest lap. A new fastest lap and a new track record. Can he... Oh, he's getting quite close to Vettel, actually. He's only 1.3 seconds behind. What can he do with this? He's getting very close indeed. Very close. And Hamilton goes wide trying to pile the pressure onto Vettel. But he gets a wheel spin that grains him a lot of grip. But he goes onto the grass. His Inside line wheel goes onto the grass, which might have lost him a bit of time. No, but he has gained time. And then only 
by 16 hundredths of a second. This is where Hamilton might be able to gain a few places. And he's come up to Van Dorn now with a very, very, very good pace. He's made a dive up the inside of Van Dorn. What can he do with it? He might be able to get a bit DRS on there. Vettel. He does get DRS on Vettel. Hamilton. Breaking late as he dives down the inside. What a move! What a move! For 15th place. So he's spun, he's crashed, he has gone into the pit and he still remains in 15th place. Hamilton might have to save his tyres a bit now. Hamilton, I think he might have to come into the pits this lap, his tyres aren't doing that well. He should have gone with Bottas is cool, he's on the softs. That means he can go to the end of the race. I think Bottas might end up in these places. These places. He's good. He is one, two, three, four, five. He is six places behind, all the way back into last position. P19. But I think Lewis can go to the end of the race on his tyres. Why oh, isn't he pitting? No, he's not. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, maybe that could have just been a mistake. Lewis, why didn't you get on that lap? I've still got a little bit of life on his tyres, guys. Only a few more laps, and then I'll come in. Lewis, I can account you. Two laps left on these tyres. You can use all your fuel, because when you come into the pits, we'll refill you, so use all your fuel. Spawn again, he's lost his place to battle again. Shh, your tires aren't doing that well. Shh, shh, yeah, no crap, guys.
try and catch up on Vettel again. Oh no, he's done a very bad mistake there. He's on ultra softs now, so he could gain a few positions. But I think this might be a bit too far away for a victory. I'm not sure though, that McLaren isn't looking too good. And he didn't lose that many places either. Oh, and those tyres stopped wonderfully for the track. You know, they had only about 300 metres. 200 metres to do what? McLaren isn't looking too good. I think we might have 18 runners in this race, I'm not sure. So just got launched into the air. Oh, there's little really jibbings. Oh no! Hamilton's gone straight into a bar and he's lost his red tie! He is out of this race! Going on the corner of the corner, can he do it? He's in last position at the moment. He's gaining. He's gaining on Alonso very much so. He goes wide. He's going up. He's going up. Three wide into turn two, what can they do now? Who comes up? And he had a little collision with Alonso, which puts Alonso back, and now Hamilton has three clean air to gain on. And now, can he do it? Yes, he got through that corner, decent. I think that's Stroll. I think that's Stroll who is in front of Furlong at the moment. Then we have. Then we have. Marcus Ericsson in front of Stroll. Yes, it is Stroll. 
who he pulls out to the outside of their line. It's Mercedes versus Mercedes versus Mercedes going down that straight. And Hamilton comes out worst. Can he make a dive bomb on Stroll? Can he do it? Yes, he can. He has got the position. The dive bomb has worked. He's into P16, and now he will fight for his position. Who have we got next? Signs, signs, going two way into that turn. Oh no! Hayden's gone very wide, and he's spun at turn three. Turn two, I mean. He's going into turn two. He's done that perfectly. And a bit wide, not perfectly at all. Actually, now he's got three cars ahead of him, and he's got three cars behind him. What can he do with this? And he make up a few positions. From first to last, then to 15th, then to back to last, he's making his way back up the order. As the cars go by, the numbers keep on flying. He made the move on Van Dorn, can he make the move on Ericsson? I don't know yet, but he might, he's going to get DRS on him. He's got DRS, he's got DRS. On to the 17th of 18 laps. What is this going to mean? For the championship, Vettel is two paces ahead of him. I've got two laps left. What is going to happen? Can Vettel keep his position? I very highly acknowledge that point. Since he's got his own teammate in front of him, and then we've got Vettel, I think that this may be ready for the next round. But never say never. This has been. their first win at their home Grand Prix. Well done to Danny McCona who held his home. Unlucky to Max Verstappen won and Bull won the race and one Red Bull retired. That was a very out weird outcome for this race having Hamilton in 13th place, Vettel in 11th. Both title contenders missing out on the points. And Hamilton has come in 13th place. That was 15th place actually. With that three second time penalty, puts him back three seconds. At the final corner, that was very, very unlucky. Consistency was probably the key today. 
There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see now the drivers are making their way out. We need Red Bull fighting at the front. They do an incredible amount for Formula One. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes. Now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that today. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Anthony, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. Now, today... That was our Austrian Grand Prix. Join us next time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix round 10 of the Formula 1 calendar. And that concludes our intro to the race with the race strategy for, for Lewis Hamilton being a one stop on going from the softs to the super softs. Starting the race now, Hamilton. Five red lights, and it's lights out, and away we go. Hamilton gets a very bad start for Stappen going into the lead. Bottas going down the inside of Hamilton. Oh no, and Hamilton's gone into the ball a bit. <laughs> oh, and Hamilton's got... Bottas has gone down, Hamilton's inside. Hamilton drops from first to third, and Hamilton gets the position back. Bottas is leading him into the ball. Verstappen is away. Verstappen has gone. He is out of this place. Verstappen is now probably going to win this race because of the massive margin he has gained in this first sector which could affect the end of the race and Hamilton's gone on to the to the getaway area Hamilton, he's actually gaining on Verstappen a bit. 
So this might be a very good duel. In this city, on this street circuit, on this Saturday morning, to for Hamilton to catch Verstappen. To be another victory, the second Grand Prix, the second victory for Mercedes as we come down the street to end the first lap. Verstappen is the first one to be seen coming out to the final corner. And there we have Lewis Hamilton who is going to be putting everything on this line to get this Grand Prix victory. And second lap has begun as we go through the laps. Hamilton has set a one minute. Why? Why is he going to the pits? Oh. Oh, poor is that one. Oh crap, I have messed that up. Poop. Poops. Just pretend that never happened. Three red lights, four red lights, five red lights, it's light tower, and away we go. What a start from Hamilton as Vettel tries to. Hamilton, Verstappen has to cover off Vettel going into turn one. Hamilton goes wide and he knocks a bit of his front wheel off. How much do commentators do it? Oh no, and Hamilton's out of this race. And Hamilton's out. I heard that Jeffy goes. <laughs> MP1, but what can you do about it? Mm. 